friends, it's Miss Karen. I wanted to talk to you guys really quick about our Fruit of the Spirits this month for April. And we actually have two Fruit of the Spirits. We have two of them. We have one that's called Kindness. And if you look at that, it's two people right there and they are holding hands and it looks like they have smiles on their faces. And so that is the Fruit of the Spirit, Kindness. When we show kindness to people, we can do nice things for them. We can draw pictures. We can um, help our moms and dads clean up our rooms. We can help um, pick up our toys. We can help in any way or just smile or say I love you and use kind words. So that's our fruit of the spirit, kindness. And we also have our fruit of the spirit and this is gentleness. And if you look right there, that is baby Jesus. And so when you have gentleness, you have gentle hands, just like if you were holding a baby, you wouldn't take a baby and rock that baby real hard and throw something on the ground. You would have gentle hands. And we can have gentle hands with our friends by keeping our hands to ourselves. We don't use our hands for hitting other people or pushing other people. We wanna have gentle hands and we want to have gentle hearts. With each other and so that is our fruit of the spirit this month it is kindness and it is gentleness and i'm going to show you the the bible verses for both those our bible verse for um kindness is be kind and compassionate to one another so i'm going to do that again ready be kind and compassionate to one another and again, if you are kind, you are loving on people, you are having compassion with people just like Jesus did with us. And that one comes from Ephesians 4.32 in our Bible. And our, our uh, other verse is from Philippians, verse 4, 5. And it says, let your gentleness, like we're rocking a baby, let your gentleness be known to all. All right, well, let's get ready for our Bible stories. Thank you, friends. Hey, friends. It's Miss Sammy here, and I'm so excited because we're going to sing one of our very favorite songs, Love, Love, Love One Another and Be Kind. And I've got my sweet friend, Miss Karen. Hello. She's going to lead our motion, so you do what she does and sing with a big, strong voice. All right, here we go. We're going to start off going, Love, Love, Love One Another and Be Kind. Jesus told us to 
I want to welcome you guys to chapel today. I'm so glad you guys are coming to chapel and you all are doing such a good job of listening to our Bible stories. And I'm showing you our Bible again because this is our Bible. And I want you to remember that all the stories in our Bible are true. So everything Miss Karen is telling you, God has given us to read and for us to learn from. And so we have a story today about Jesus. This is Jesus. And we also have a story about a little boy. So these are going to be the people that's going to help tell our story today. So if you remember what we've been learning, that Jesus has been going along and he has been preaching. He's been going to different places and he's been telling them about God, about how God created the world. And he's been telling them all the different ways that God loves his people and he has been bringing lots and lots of crowds. If you remember last week, we talked about Zacchaeus. Remember, he was the short man that wanted to see Jesus. And he had to climb up that tree because there were so many people. And so at this time, when Jesus was talking, they came to listen to him. And they didn't go to a big church building. They just went outside. And there was a place and there were, they said, over 5,000 people that came to hear Jesus. That is a whole lot of people. So lots and lots of people, they walked and they came there and they didn't have cars back then and they would come and they would sit and they were listening to Jesus. They knew that Jesus, that he was special, that he was the son of God and so they were listening to him. Now as they were there all day, they started to get hungry. And you know, they didn't have Chick-fil-A back there. They didn't have McDonald's. And as I said, they didn't have cars, and so they did not have enough food to eat. And so Jesus' special friends, his disciples said, we need to let these people go so they can go home and eat. And Jesus said, well, what kind of food do we have? And so they went around and they said, we don't have enough food to feed 5,000 people. And so Jesus went and he saw, there was a little boy here. This is a little boy. And the little boy had come there to hear Jesus and he had saw that the little boy had a lunch. So let's open up his lunch and let's see what is in there. And so there was a little boy here. Well, he's not gonna be able to sit right there. I'm gonna put him right here and then here's my, do you see my lunch box right here? They're gonna open up my little lunch and let's see what's inside that he had to share. And so he had you see this? He had one fish and then he had another. So one plus one is two. So he had two fish and then he had some loaves of bread. He has, let's count, one, two, three, four, five. So he had five five loaves of bread and he had two fish. Now you remember me telling you there were lots and lots and lots of people there. So there were over 5,000 people there. Is that food gonna be enough to feed 5,000 people? And it wasn't. It wasn't gonna be enough. So his disciples said, that's not enough food for everybody. But Jesus knows he can do great things, right? There is nothing that is impossible for him. So he said, bring the food to me. So the people brought the food and the little boy brought his lunch up to Jesus. And Jesus thanked the little boy for his lunch. And then he lifted the food, he lifted and he asked God. And he knew that God knew that, that God could do anything. And he knew that God could make enough food for people. And so he blessed the food and then he started handing out the food to the people. So they started handing out the food and they had, this one had enough food for this person and then they had enough food for this person and then they had enough food for this person. So they started breaking up all the bread and started passing them around to all the people and they kept passing out and guess what? They had enough food for everybody. They fed all 5,000 people and they even had leftovers for those people. And so it was pretty awesome because we know that there is nothing impossible for God, right? We know that Jesus could do miracles. And so I'm gonna show you this word right here. This word is called miracle. Can you all spell it with me? That's M-I-R-A-C-L-E. 
M-I-R-A-C-L-E. And that word is miracle. Can you say miracle? Miracle. And there were lots of miracles that only Jesus could do. Now, if Miss Karen said, had more food, if I spoke something, I can't necessarily make it happen. But Jesus can make miracles. He can make things happen that only God can do. And that's what's so awesome about this story. It's sweet that the boy showed kindness, our fruit of the Spirit, kindness, and he shared his lunch. But what's greater about the story is that Jesus had a miracle happen that people saw that he was who he said he was that he was son of god and that they believed that he could do uh, great things and that he loved them very much so we know that jesus did lots of miracles in his ministry and one of those was that he could feed those five thousand people so thank you guys for coming to chapel today thank you guys for listening i want you to remember that jesus loves you all the time and that there is nothing impossible for him. All right, bye guys. Hi friends, it's me and Jeremiah, and we're here to sing. My God is so big, so strong, and so mighty. So get your hands ready, and let's sing together. My God is so big, so strong, Bigger. Bigger. So strong.